Keith Mello and his team spent the day being seen and heard making campaign stops across the metro. We caught up with him as he did a radio interview this afternoon, efforting those voters who are still undecided. Final preparations are underway at the campaign headquarters, and Heath Mello is out making himself heard. Come on in. Last minute endorsements, efforts to garner more votes. Mello says campaign signs have even become a hot topic, tweeting this. Closer to election days, we know a lot of people uh, have a tendency to, to, to get a little more aggressive with yard signs, and we've seen a lot of people uh, call us and respond to us about yard signs being stolen or being damaged, and a lot of people letting us know that there's signs being placed all over on public properties, which everyone knows against the law, and so we've just tried to remind everyone, look, be mindful. Mello says he's part of a new generation of leadership, one that's future-focused and relationship-based. Senator Bernie Sanders and Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley both support Mello's forward thinking people who can bring in a different perspective, can bring more people to the table, and doesn't not only have a vision for the future, but really be able to, to bring people together to make that vision a reality. The former state senator says part of that mindset includes setting the city up for success in the long run. It really changes the leadership paradigm when you elect a mayor who literally lives like most people in the city in regards to just trying to just get by day by day. As you can see, Mello is still out here canvassing the neighborhoods, knocking on doors, making sure to leave cards for those who don't pick up. Now, Mello did pick up more community endorsements this afternoon. Former state senator Brenda Council, activist Preston Love Jr., and former Husker and Heisman Trophy winner Johnny Rogers all backing his run. Reporting live from 23rd and H, Sarah Feely, KETV News Watch 7.